My name is Cameron Connie, and I'm from Agoura Hills, California. I was always a healthy guy. Um, and, and one day I was doing a self-exam in the shower and I noticed that one testicle was uh, quite literally twice the size of the other. And um, so went to an urgent care and you know, one thing led to another and, and found out I had testicular cancer. Uh, I went to a lot of different doctors to get a first opinion, a second opinion, a third opinion. I got probably 10 to 15 different opinions. Um, and it was everything from getting radiation to getting chemotherapy. And I felt like there had to be another solution. One of my biggest concerns um, was the, the potential for um, infertility due to radiation. So I learned about this clinical trial going on at, at USC Keck. I had surgery in November of 2015. The surgery involved cutting me open from, you know, really below my heart all the way down to my belly button. The recovery was um, not difficult. It probably took me two to three weeks just to, you know, feel like myself again. And yet I was one of the first participants involved in the study. Um, so for me, I was a little bit of a pioneer um, and had to take a little bit of a leap of faith. Um, but I really had 100% full confidence in, in Dr. Donishman and, and his staff. It gave me um, another lease on life to be able to, you know, literally extract the cancer from my body versus, um, you know, adding any sort of secondary cancer risks like chemo or radiation. Honestly, the past seven to eight years since I've had the surgery, I can't tell you how many, you know, blessings I've had. Currently, um, we are expecting a, a child. I was ecstatic. I remember being in the car actually on the 101 and, um, you know, just yelling at the top of my lungs in a great way. I'm able to, to live a, a regular life. That's given me uh, just the ability to do whatever I wanted before the surgery. What I would tell another guy with testicular cancer um, would be to, uh, to remain calm. You know, there's definitely options out there. So it's not a death sentence. So I think you have to continue to, you know, live your life, but also, you know, get the surgery and then, you know, move on with your life.